What's up, everybody? It's your favorite leader who can't deal with that right now. It's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Iron Factory Ultra Magnus. Once again, this is on loan to me from Robert D., and uh, I'll give you another little piece of information as to why he wanted me to look at these. I'm seriously contemplating picking up their Dinobot set. He is afraid that they will not be as good as this and Overlord. Now, I wasn't as personally impressed by Overlord as he was, but let's see if Ultra Magnus is any different. So apparently he comes with more accessories than what you see here, but this is what Robert sent to me. He comes with one of those like missile pod things that we looked at with the six gun set. So we've already kind of looked at that and apparently there's some different weapon variations and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't matter. This is what we have and apparently it's good enough. Um, and I'll rotate these forward to give it a, just a little bit more of an Ultra Magnus vibe. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about the accessories that we do have. Uh, this pistol, single cast, uh, white plastic, uh, hollow, you know, all sorts of waffles going on in there, uh, but fair enough. Uh, this thing, which is kind of cool because it hides the sculpt if you put this in there so it stays fairly midline. Uh, I do have a problem with the hands. You can kind of rotate them to a point where they get wedged up. Um, mainly here at that at that corner not not the biggest deal you can work around it but I, I've had it happen to me once so far so this articulates here so that you can kinda get it to where you want within the sculpt and that's cool and then all this blue paint on there is done really well and that's cool and then this opens up here and separates and we'll talk about that uh, I think a bit later but we'll set this to the side for now and once again he has put repper labels on this thing uh, and we might be judging some of his repper label work as we go through because we found some uh, some little sloppy, sloppy units in the last one. But we got a, a ball joint right here. Uh, and it's, it's kind of similar to the last one where it, it doesn't get you a whole lot but the swivel up to there, down to there. I guess that's okay, given that it's a Legends figure. Focus, man. Tell Stout to how Okay. The, um, the face is a really great sculpt. But the blue paint, it may be hard to see, does get outside the eyes. However, it is a very small eye, so I do sympathize. However, it would have really impressed me had they kept it in line. There is a thin... Oh, no, it's not even... It's just the way the paint hits it. But, yeah, looks good. The silver paint looks good as well, and the white paint on the horns look good. What else do we have? So we have this. Now, you can get a kind of a... You can, you know, fake the reverse butterfly joint if you'd like. Of course it's okay if you come down here. She's, uh... She's been in a little bit of trouble today, so she's trying to be my buddy now. Are we friends again? Okay. Um, and then you got a, a, a ball peg here in the shoulder. Get you up to there, which is pretty good. And then it rotates around 360, so that's no problem. Same for the other side, and the same reverse butterfly joint that's not intended, but you can cheat. Bicep swivel. So that works fine. Uh, these little missile launchers, as we talked about before, focus, man. They swivel also, it is tight. The wrist swivels, but I'm not crazy about how it swivels. So, and this isn't mine, and I've been begged. I'm not even gonna, I was gonna do it with a tool, but I'm not going to. I've been begged by Robert D not to break this, but they do swivel. It's just this sculpt line here that ends up getting in the way sometimes, and you gotta kind of rethink the way that you're doing business. But it does, it does work. You just have to trust me. Elbows, single hinge, get you 90 degrees, that's fine. Paint dealings, detailings throughout is pretty much the silver here. These are two different pieces of plastic. And silver and then this chrome blue, which is a nice touch and, and you know, unexpected. A lot of people would have just left that blue. So that's cool. Waist swivel. That's fairly impressive given what this is. And T-jointed ball joints for hips. Get you out to there back and forward to there so that works really well thigh swivels built into the bottom of it and uh, these are stickers but the stickers do look good on this set nice choice Robert D knee double jointed uh, you can kind of keep it together you know or you can use the double joint if you just gotta be careful of the sculpt but uh, you know it, it, either way it gets you at least 90 degrees if not more right and I don't know, the red is paint. These are stickers, I think. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. I think that's white paint, maybe. No, that's a separate plastic piece. Either way, fair amount. Silver paint in there, so that looks good. And then for the feet, we have 
ankle rockers, a slight ankle rocker, and no tilt, no toe tilt. So that's not perfect, but it is the ankle rocker, which is more important, and I'm glad that they included it. All right, and now we're transforming. I got a little buddy here with me. Do you want to say hello? She's wishing me. Do you want to say good luck for my transformation? Look for a transfer <laughs> Thank you. All right. So let's pull. Uh, actually, we got to take these pieces off here. She just actually watched the Transformers, the movie, the 86 version on Blu-ray recently for the first time. And who was your favorite Transformer? Grimlock. Grimlock. All right. So we'll pull this up. Unlock these here. And then we can pull this up. That taps into place, and then this comes down and sorts on the front. TNT <laughs> with it. <laughs> Robert D's a funny dude. All right, so these come up, and then uh, the forearms interlock together. And then the legs, you got to form like a U. So the thigh comes up 90 degrees, and then this bends 90 degrees. And this... Uh, piece here is kind of held on by the hand and sorts like that and then you have this piece here that flips around and plugs into the waist we'll clean that up a taste all right and then we'll do the same on the other side once again forming that u-shape with all these 90 degree bends he holds on to his knees, so to speak. <laughs> That's a bad one. And then um, we flip this around and plug that into here. These plug together and the feet plug together in theory. There. And the last thing that we're going to do is take this piece here. I was right. They did go in the front and fold it back around on itself and then the wings go to the back and this sits in there to kind of fill out that void space and then this like i don't know i've i've seen i looked at pictures and i've seen stuff where it's like sitting on the side it, it gets to be a little goofy right mm -hmm. <laughs> she just said mm -hmm. um and that's it. And I think it does a decent job. These wheels are fake and everything's not perfectly lined up and it seems a little off kilter. Uh, I probably could get that a little bit better, but it seems like this piece here sits a little lower than this piece. But I think for what it is, you know, a Legends class Ultra Magnus, I think they did a pretty spectacular job. Uh, I obviously wouldn't store this nonsense on either side. Uh, I don't even think I would. Maybe. Probably not. Let's see if I would do. Oh, that's even worse. Maybe like this. No, ridiculous. But, um, but I think that does a pretty good job. Obviously, there's some liberties with the cab and stuff. But uh, all in all, though, not hateful. It, it is a little chunky, chunky monkey back here, and then a little skimpy up here. But I, it's not. It's not hateful. It doesn't roll or anything. It's only these wheels that are real, and I don't even think they they touch the ground. At least with the way I have it. Uh, because like I'm trying to think like if there's any way that I could because I mean, just just the way that these tab in it seems like this has to sit a little bit lower so I can see how somebody could have an issue with that doesn't bother me though just and that's that's just my own personal opinion uh, I, I'd have to note it as a as a criticism and that one's a little bit worse than the other one but it doesn't <laughs> bother me and there's a size comparison once again kind of in scale with overlord slightly smaller than a deluxe significantly bigger than a hasbro legend or an iron factory kind of standard uh, legend and i think uh i was going to do a skit but my three-year-old really wants to talk to you guys about grimlock so hold on grimlock grimlock is my favorite you know he's a dinosaur <laughs> what kind of dinosaur like this thing. Tyrannosaurus? Yes. He has a backpack and he wants to go to school. <laughs> I would love him to go to my school. All right. Say goodbye to the people. Bye. All right. So thanks for that. I think this guy is really cool. I think he was a little pricier than a lot of the other ones, but I can see why. There's a lot of engineering here in terms of like 
making everything to work simply while being effective in both modes, unlike the Overlord, which I don't feel like is effective in all modes. This one really works. The articulation here is is great. Could have used an ankle tilt on there, uh, but it's nice to have an ankle rocker. One thing we have to note is that he has an ankle rocker and he has a waist swivel, and the leader class version of the Hasbro one does not. That should say something to someone, in my most humble of opinions. Who am I kidding? I don't have humble opinions. If you have an opinion, why be humble about it? That's what I say. Anyway, the accessories are cool and they kind of work, both nodding different sort of realizations of the character, so that's cool. The paint where it is applied is applied extremely well, with the exception of the eyes, but I think it's forgivable because it's such a small space to work with. The transformation is just fun enough to kind of flip back and forth without getting frustrated or aggravated. My only complaint is that the finished truck mode doesn't stick together extremely well in in all places. Like the hands will come unpegged from the little thing, the little this piece which does slide in with two pegs into the the top of the calves still doesn't really hold ex ex as well as you would like it to. Whereas these rocket things are a little too tight on the arms and stuff like that. But that is my biggest uh, complaint, and I saw a lot of that with Overlord as well, so I wonder if that isn't something that this company deals with regularly, because I'm two for two and I'm noticing the same sort of flaw. However, I gotta say, I am really impressed with this piece. I would strongly recommend it if you have a Legends collection or if you just like flipping pieces back and forth. Like if you, like if you had like a little piece you wanted to keep at the office or something while you, you just mess with, while you're reading your emails and having your coffee, have a bagel. I don't know what office people do, and I would imagine it's similar to that. I would think that this could be a little fun piece to have with you. So I, I definitely recommend it. I think it's much more worth the money than the Overlord one is. Hope that helps. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.